so Gambit, you know, like I was saying, they do want to win this series. It is very important for both of these teams. Dream down to about half health as the bounty no rules top lane again. They just keep going on in. FNGs might, might be the one to fall. He will be. Madara gets the kill. No tell and Saxa this time pairing up as the ex vampire roll in. But that ether remnant blocked out by the Knicks means Madara's still alive and they turn to fight. Homing in 10 the seconds. Just kill the heroes. They're worth more than gold. <laughs> Who cares creeps kill heroes? A good stun from Notel will get themselves maybe another vampire with a good fairy fire, but the final click from Madara gets the 2 to nil start for OG. There's a nice little head-to-head -head there between Ember Spirit and Beastmaster. A lot of sustain here as 3-3 getting gone on again. Good decrep. They've got a chains, but it doesn't catch the Beastmaster. Saxon and the creep tank it up. As Bounty Rune spawning in only a couple of seconds. No Tails Courier dropping up top. Saxa going for a bit of a kill here on FNG and he's very nearly got it. Fairy fire and a stick. Saxa stays alive. Stick charges to go. Dream. I don't know if he can go for this one. He's got himself searing chains up in a second and he will catch Saxa. Go and grab the deeper Bounty Rune there but it gives Beastmaster even more room and it's still a one for one trade. Pugna's even rotating in here. 1-1-1 one, one, one build on Pugna. We're seeing a lot more of the value points up in that nether ward. And they know that Chemical Rage down for quite some time. No tail. What's he doing? He's just walking around in circles, toying with his opponent. GPK has been left by Sumail now. Bit of a weird initiation from OG. Ooh, region room for Sumail. That means full mana, full HP for your Dragonite who was harassed A dive under top tier one. And there's the call down with the Rocket Barrage. Dream, decent rotation in. Gets the trade back onto No Tail, but can't continue. No tail. Good carapace and a stun. He's got the roar as well, but FNG swaps back GPK to get off the chemical rage. He's not going to give his life here. FNG's still pretty safe. Gets the second swap out and does drop. But it's a trade back for no tail as the DK back in onto Al. Gets the pick off. GPK down and Radiance delayed even further. As 3-3 being life drained back up. Saxa gives him the heal from the suck and Mele stunned. Down goes the Void Spirit. Three for one. As OG very quickly snap into action yes they roll in onto the dk pushing back towards the tier three but dream can't offer anything more here and they've got the life drain back up from saxa no roll will escape you from og's aggression three three holding onto that roar and gpk yet again isolated out on his own in front of that tier one three three focusing the objective takes it out as the ember spirit chains up three three who doesn't give a damn Roar up, and he throws it onto the Ember. Swap back as they chain stun him with the Nyx Assassin. No Tail's got a good initiation there, but Dream, remnants away. First hero to die is FNG, and the life drain keeping No Tail alive. This sustain from Pogna is beautiful, but OG getting turned on until Madara makes his arrival known, and Gambit just were not expecting that. Another Dragon Tail in, and Madara's Gyro clears through the Alk like a hot knife through butter. And No Tail leading the charge, thinking about finding someone, grabbing bounty runes. My TP down bottom though, and Meles, Aether Remnant, and one more Astral Step. Nice rolling boulder in. Meles might be able to get himself out of danger here. Madara still trying to give chase, as the disengage from this Void Spirit looks good, but the Mango's being popped by OG. They want to take him down. Yet another life drain, and no -tail tanks the Astral uh, Aether Remnant to make sure that life drain continues. Rotation you don't go to for Memes. The first one who dies is Meles. Memes, Meles, 3-3. Three, three. Dodging away from everything. He's got pipe, he's got helm, he's tanky as all hell. He's going to get a wand off as well with 13 wand charges up. He turns and he roars. Gambit can't catch a break. He plops down a tree. Uh, it's a GG tree, but he does finally drop. But in comes the rest of OG. FNG, lots of Gs going on here, Lacoste. Chase in from Sumail. But a kick away onto GPK, will allow the TP out. Dragon Tail in two seconds time. The homing missile not quite there. To stop the carapace, Hotel, uh, No Tail just stands inside the acid. Did you just call him Hotel? Hotel, yeah. Uh, you're not deeping out of this one. That's unfortunate. GPK, he's toggling Radiance on and off. <laughs> <laughs> They're giving kill to Saxa. <laughs> He knew he was dead. Is hitting a tier 3 tower. That's yeah, a little bit of a problem. Who have they got? FNG down bottom lane. There's also a fight kicking off mid. Madara and No Tail in a 2 versus 4. 
They've got Aegis up on this gyro, so they focus no tail down. The next will fall, but in comes Saxa looking to turn around with a life drain onto the gyro. And bottom lane being shoved by Sumail. Dragon form just popped, and 3-3's three ready. They'll break the ramp, wander up the stairs, and looking for that high ground objective. Stack, so he's gonna get this after the camp. Now TP back straight away. You need to take this fight with the team Dragon Scale. Oh my goodness, Melis. Madara is just godlike. Yeah. Rax is gone. Annihilating Gambit at this point. Swinging towards mid lane. Void Spirit with no buyback. Just finished off the Yule Scepter. So uh, four versus five for another 20 seconds. Tier three down and OG really looking to close this game out. Only 20 minutes in, they swap in the Dragon Knight, but decrept up, buy him a little bit of time. And it looks like Gambit trying to have a little bit of fun here. They'll buy back the Venge, but Alchemist gets obliterated by his own tier four, uh, next to his own tier fours, not by them. And the catch on Earth Spirit will mean Sumail's on a killing spree. I just don't see a way back into this. GPK calls it. They should have given him Storm Spirit, not Alchemist. I have to agree, Gary. These heroes are really good against, like, let's say, a Razor last pick, right? None of these heroes care that much. Choose your hero. As Lena, the final grab for Gambit. Sumail taking a beating. GPK just giving the clicks. And a pretty timid laning stage here so far. Now it G. becomes harder for Sumail on the mid lane. Like GPK will be the one controlling the runes. Also getting close to his bottle. Well, he needs to hit the stun. But every single time Sumail gets close, he gets a couple of right clicks, he gets Dragon Slave. He gets stunned up and loses about 200 HP, 300 HP. Under the tier 1 tower, a nice Aether Remnant, Sumail. He's got to dissimilate and he'll dodge the Light Strike Array, going for a kill on GPK. Oh, GPK, you've overplayed your hand! Sumail absolutely godlike plays, hiding in that tree. Well, you know that Weaver's gonna go for that kind of a play, to steal it, now he's gonna block the spawn might even get a kill. Madara. Long waveform. Dive in two seconds. Verify already popped. And there's the kill. Madara gets it. The push into the tier one. Carapace. FNG with a two-man stun. Ether Remnant up and ready for Sumail. Will be able to catch the next assassin as the Light Strike Array. Laguna Blade. Dragon No Tail into the grave. GPK at least gets a trade. Poor man shield up for the Chen as well. Sends that back to the stash. As Morphling Madara, Waveform onto Vampire. A couple of... Wait, not even a couple of hits. One hit. Takes down the Phoenix and a well-deserved tip there. Melis doesn't even feel like he can stand his ground in this lane anymore. Shards the block off Madara. Sack such a Shikuching all the way across. They know exactly where GPK is. But what's the gap close right now? Fisher into Shikuchi with Astral Step. GPK is getting himself just close enough to his Tier 1 and the rest of his squad there to stay alive. But the Centaur Army... Three threes arrived. It's time to play around our Chen. GPK getting full on dived. OG out of nowhere. All of a sudden, you've got five bloody heroes on top of you, and GPK must be tilted out of his poor little boots right now. I would be crying tears. Madara just shoving that tier one top lane. Sumail, very deep. One man stun. FNG catches on to Sumail, but the LSA doesn't land. The dissimulate back out. Dodges from GPK. Madara and Sumail with the other Astral tough. Step. GPK, he's being annihilated. Madara gets the takedown. Tusk and Nyx in trouble now with Vampire diving out of danger. But uh, no tail. He's got a good Fisher. Lines it up onto Meles. A three man impale from FNG buys a bit of time, but I don't know if it's going to be enough to get them out of danger. The punch does very little, and another jump in. Dissimulate forward. They are obliterating Gambit. Madara goes down to one HP. He is taunting them in front of their base. One to nine. OG is styling on him. Quite nicely on the gyrocopter, but the snowball potential. He's going to die. OG's lineup. Three, three. He's, he's going to solo gonna kill solo him. Kill him. Uh, Sumail, get it. No, no, Sumail. Leave, leave it. Uh, he's pinging it out. <laughs> he's like, yeah, I could have done it alone. Absolutely. Absolutely could. We've seen what this man can do up against you know, the anti-mage farming jungle. If you've not seen that clip, he solo oh, kills. Mech. Oh, maybe now he'll drop though a step too far from 3-3 does pop the mech like you mentioned has the creeps to try and get him out of danger unable to save himself but no tell with a two-man fisher and sumail's follow through looking for the kill on vampire dive on cooldown so the clicks come and sumail will finally find that kill as no tail solos out fng madara and saxa both arriving on the scene of the crime and they want bonus kills 
the cherry on the top is going to be this tusk. He's got snowball. He where's <laughs> where is Memes going to go to snowball to? Nowhere. He's done for. Next assassin stun onto the Chen creeps, but he's netted up. Centaur stomp won't land. And the snowball back from Meles. This fight pretty disjointed, but OG, they all gather up on the one target they can find. Imagine if you had a football manager, but for Dota 2 players, and you know their stats pushing, ganking, and then mental temperament, tilting and feeding. Meles, shard blocking himself to try and get away from the grasp of OG, but they are just picking them off one by one. Gambit, don't even get a spell off in that team fight. No cooldown. I don't think they care too much. There's Catapult approaching on the bottom lane. With 3 3 Zombie. About to hit and finish Vlad's as well. Oh no boy. tail peeping. Madara, no, half HP. No Three minutes on the Aegis on Morphling. Stun into cooldown. They're trying to clear this army and doing a great job of it. 3 3 even using Mech and Hand of God. But the jump in from Sumail, catching out Nyx. Blow up FNG, but no, not quite. Finally take that next assassin down as the Yule stops the snowball stun. Sumail's still going to get LSA tagged, but that Ether Remnant down just in time for no tail to miss the Echo Slam, but Saxon's dive. Looking to kill off the Lina. Does have buyback. The time lapse out means Sax is still up and running. GPK tipped and buys back. Yeah, if there was no tip, he would not buy back. <laughs> Madara uh, They need to defend. Still holding Aegis, I think the Morphling can dive with the Void Spirit now. Take out GPK, a die back inevitable as the Supernova is zoning them away from the fountain. They go two man stun out from FNG, catches the Weaver. Shikuchi be damned as Sumail also falls. OG, they lose three, but the Aegis brings Madara back as the buyback from Phoenix will return him to battle. And Barracks still standing here as OG committing a little bit too deep. Madara has he played, delivered. but he's on pretty much max strength now. He's trying to shift down to Anji so he can get some more damage as they hold the high ground ramp and look to turn back in towards Meles. Excess Vampire. And in they go with a couple of clicks. Madara baiting, toying with Gambit now. They've got themselves a potential Spirit Vessel target here in the Morphling, but a good enchant totem. Where's the Fisher? No tail, still holding on to it. Now he gets the two-man stun. Madara struggling to stick on a target, though, as his damage is lacking. No One tail HP left alone. On Madara. Gyrocopter with Ags Maelstrom working on the BKB. Feels like their only real chance here is this Gyrocopter, but when he's swarmed, surrounded, blown up with no buyback, the one real chance the Gambit had is now dead for 50 seconds. What an aggressive performance from OG. A lot of things. They want the gyro. They know there's limited buybacks here from Gambit as Sumail, very tanky with that double resonant pulse, starting them up, and there's no BKBs here from Gambit with no tail arriving. He gets a great echo slam. OG forcing two more buybacks. Gyro did get his off. Must have got just enough gold off the back of that fight as Morphling back in again and Dream. Really, he's just going to sit in fountain at this point. Meles, one versus five. He's got the world on his shoulders, but GG is cool. Dream is the last one standing, and he is the one to call it. Gambit tap out. A 2-0 victory here for OG.